Yo, what's going on guys? My name's Techno, and today I've got my NBA Season 7 draft analysis. Uh, so first of all, I'm really hyped for this season because we are putting a lot of effort into this season and like getting this league on YouTube and stuff. Second of all, you should all go sub to my, um, you should all go sub to our other account. You should sub to the, um, what's it called, the NBA account. Uh, YouTube, we're making videos on there. I do power rankings for Kanto. And, um, so I'm in Kanto again this season. Uh, last season, if you saw my cringy hype video, you know that we lost in playoffs last season, and, yeah, that sucked. But this season, I intend to come back, and I'm hoping for a really good season this season, because I have a team that I really love. Um, it's probably the weirdest team in the league, but it's so fun to use, um, in my opinion. So, uh, I'm just gonna get right into the picks. First thing I knew I wanted was Thunder's, uh, Eye. Now, Thunder's Eye is one of those things where it's just so, so good. Uh, I, I just love it so much. And um, it's it's just kind of like a thing that I always like to use, and I can't wait like to use it again this season. Reason being, this thing gets insane coverage in dark coverage, electric coverage. First of all, it's a fast electric type, and its speed is 111. Excuse me, so... Its max speed is going to be uh, 353. That outspeeds 110s. That's great. Um, this thing is the fastest thing on my team. Uh, very good. It's nice because it also uh, supplies a ground immunity, which is very nice. It gets also lots of setup moves and agility, bulk up, and, of course, nasty plot. Nasty plot, probably my favorite to run on it. This thing can also be mixed. Uh, superpower... Um, Knock off, crunch, anything like that, hammer arm, uh, anything that can just make these two great attack stats just to work even better. This thing with a life orb hits just super hard. Two it kills like a shit ton of things, and it's just gonna be great this season. I can't wait to use it. So Nietzsche joins the team yet again. So next thing I drafted was Scissor. Um, scissor is one of those things that I personally really like, um, and it gets shit on in the draft format because of the fire typing and how common it, common it is offensively and how basically people just run HP fire for this. But something I like to do in this format is um basically so if my team has a weakness to fire, like HP fire, I like to patch it up with something else with a 4 times weakness. That way, hidden powers are more pressured and harder to use. That might not make sense to some people, but to me it definitely does. So, reason that this thing is really good. Technician. Makes it great. Bullet Punch. Powerful priority. Um, 130, this thing can run 252. And this thing gets 394 attack. Bullet Punch, Technician. 60 base attack, stab. If you throw on a choice band on there, you're hitting hella hard. This thing is also really good defensively, just because it only it only is weak to fire, and that is just a type that is um, good offensively, but it can be easily stopped in other ways, and it it doesn't resist too much, um, but it takes a neutral from a lot of hits, and that's what's really great about it, and it can take those hits neutrally really well. Um, bullet punch stab, very good. U-turn, it's good for pivoting. It gets Roost, and this thing can also get stuff like Defog, Pursuit, just all sorts of stuff. It's going to be great. Um, problem with my team is this thing is the best hazard removal I have, um, but hazard removal, it's not that um, important at the moment, in my opinion, and um, yeah, I wasn't too concerned with it. So basically, um, yeah, I'm just really hyped to use Scissor again. haven't used it in a while. And it's just going to be great for the season. So, next thing I drafted. I drafted Sylveon in OU. And reason being, um, Clefable was still around. Uh, so, I could have easily took Clefable. But I like Sylveon better for a few reasons. One is, oh, I should probably get into something about uh, this. This thing also gets Prankster Thunder Wave. That means it can guaranteed slow something down for, for like a harder hitter. And just make everything so much better. And... I love that about it. Um, so, anyway, so this thing gets two things. Pixelate, Hyper Voice. So this thing is crazy good offensively. It also gets Wish 
and it also gets Baton Pass. Baton Pass is such a nice move with Wish and Calm Mind, stuff like that, because if you Wish pass a Baton Pass, um, then you can take the hit with your Sylveon, which is relatively bulky on both sides. Defense not as much, but if you max out its defense, it's still pretty bulky with that 95 base HP. Um, if you basically do that, um, this thing's bulky, and it can just take hits while passing Wishes off to other things, and... I really like that about it. Um, I like Wish Passers in the format. reason I took this OU and not UU is because I really thought this was going to get sniped. Uh, did not think that it would last in UU because it's a great value pick. Like a great value pick. And I'm glad I took it that when I did because I found out later that it was going to get sniped. So that was great for me. Um, so I can't wait to use this. Um, all three of these great things. Can't wait to use them. So I took Flamboyant the Roserade. Roserade, these are all just things that I love using. Um, so basically, Roserade, think about Roserade. This thing does so much. This thing can be a wall, it can be a spike stacker, it can be offensive, Giga Drain, Leaf Storm, Sludge Bomb, another Fairy Killer. I like Fairy Killers against my team. Um, this team is pretty anti fairy, so fairies, don't, yeah, fairies don't really do too much to my team. Um, so spikes basically, um, it also gets um, technician and hidden powers, which means so if you give it HP fire, that's basically a flame flower. Um, like stuff like life orb HP fire with technician, Oko stuff like Skarmory and all sorts of stuff like that, and I can't wait to use it. And yeah, it also gets sleep powder, synthesis for recovery, natural cure, which is a really nice ability in the format if you know your opponent is going to status you. Look at that speed stat. That is not bad. It's not great, but it can it's definitely not horrible. And I'm really I'm really like looking forward to using this thing's speed stat cuz this thing is used more bulky, but I like its speed stat and its offensive stats too. 125, that's the same as my thunderous. Um but these two are not the hardest to things on my team, trust me. Um so I can't wait to use this. These are all just things that I'm really excited to use. Um, here's something I've never used before, actually, and that is uh, Charlemagne the Slowking. Um, first of all, Regenerator. Regenerator is probably one of the best abilities for a wall in the game. And the reason for this being that Regenerator basically makes it so you can take a hit and then get out of there, heal yourself back up, and then your wall is still good to go. And I really like that about it. It's... Um, it's really not bad. Um, so this thing gets stuff. I could have gotten Slowbro round round three, but instead I got Sylveon because didn't want it to get sniped. So this was a good value pick. This thing gets stuff like Nasty Plot, Trick Room. Trick Room is very important on my team. We're gonna get into why later, but Trick Room is essential to my team. Oh, Slack Off, Good Wall, Scald, uh, get Burns, uh, Psy Shock. Uh, this thing can also get stuff like Dragon Tail, um, Power Gem if I'm up against like Gazard Y, which is not drafted, but you know, uh, Thunder Wave, Thunder Wave, very good move, yellow color. Um, this thing's speed is slow, so it's really good in Trick Room, and Trick Room is kind of like a key to my team in some ways. I'm gonna get into why later, but it's definitely something that's really good on my team, and um, and I'm just really excited to use it. Like, I, I said I'm really excited to use all of these. That's because I genuinely am. Like, I, these are all things that can do really well in this format, in my opinion. So, next up, I have Dr. Dra, the, um, Gudra. I almost took Kingdra for some rain, rain dance prankster, uh, shenanigans, but I decided not to. Reason for this being, um, Gudra... It's just bulky as hell, and it synergizes really well with Scissor and another thing that I drafted later. Um, Gudra also gets moves like Draco. Stab Draco. Um, Kingdra gets that too, but this thing hits way harder. This thing's way bulkier. I needed more bulk on my team, in my opinion. Um, even though I had plenty of bulk on my team, I wanted more bulk. Um, reason for this will come later. Uh, so basically... Um, so this also gets stuff like Thunderbolt, Flamethrower, uh, Fire Punch, Flamethrower, and um, 
uh, Ice Beam. I love all these coverage moves that it gets. It also gets Power Whip in case I want to hit like a Swampert or a Gastrodon or a Quagsire, anything like that. Um, which, spoilers, I don't think any of them were drafted, but, you know. Uh, Iron Tail, really cool move. All sorts of stuff that this thing gets that are just really exciting in my opinion, and I really can't wait to use this thing, like, same with everything else, uh, also gets acid armor, something that I like to see, um, in the format, kind of, curse too, curse Gudra, Th this thing also gets three really good abilities, being, um, sap sipper, hydration, and gooey, sap sipper is if you want to wall grass types, like a spore from an amoongus, hydration is there, if you want to, like, run rain shenanigans, like curse, rain dance, rest, outrage, something like that, Gooey is there in case um, you want something to hit you and then drop its speed. It's a really nice ability in this format, in my opinion. I just really like how it works. Um, and I'm, yeah, it's just a really cool Pokemon. I uh, can't wait to use it. So, that's going to round up my OUUU. Let's get into my um, RUNU. So, I'm going to start off with my uh, Beauty and the Beast, my Bell Bronzong. Um, this thing is like ultimate utility. This thing gets stealth rocks. Um, for my team, this thing is great. Toxic, because, well, a lot, everything gets toxic. Um, this thing gets gyro ball, so if something wants to set up, this thing just stops and its tracks because of levitate and heat proof. Two abilities that basically wall almost all set of sweepers, um, in my opinion. Um, I don't think that, like, all dragon dance sweepers, gyro ball just stops them completely. This thing is just a great check to stuff like that. Um, this thing also gets a uh, dual screen, so reflect and light screen. Um, and most importantly, this thing gets trick room. Trick room, uh, explosion, all sorts of stuff like that. Really cool ability, uh, no, not ability, move for me to have on my team because, as you see right there, there's that. So, um, this thing's stats really good. Its special defense is really high, same with its physical defense. HP is something to be desired by some stuff, but, um,. It's not the best, but it's definitely not the worst, especially with these stats. Um, really slow team I'm getting so far. Um, that's kind of intentional. I really wanted to not have a ton of speed because I like the idea of being able to have Trick Room. And I just like that, like, in general. Next thing I have, um, x -Cloud. So this thing, um, Boom Burst. Alright, I think we're done. So this thing runs Choice Max, um... Choice Max Scrappy, so it just hits everything with this Boom Burst 140 base normal attack, which means the only things that resist it are Steel and Rock types. And for the most part, Steel and Rock types do not resist. Um, and I have something that deals with both of them very well. So, like, when I say they don't resist, that means... Um, resist does not mean switch in. So, like, if you're going to bring in your... What's an example? If you're going to bring in your Durant on a boom burst. It's gonna take like fifty percent it's gonna no, it's gonna take way over fifty percent. Um uh so it's gonna take so it's gonna take way over and that's just a great thing. Um this move is basically all it needs and also runs focus blasts occasionally. So I guess that's something. Um but this thing's just a great Pokemon. I like its name. Um and like everything else, I'm excited to use this. So here is the captain of the team, Camel Newton, um, our Mega Camera Up. This thing is probably, like people say, this is the worst Mega in the entire format. So I put this speed right here, basically 152. If you run Rock Polish, you outspeed um, Adamant Base 100s. That's really cool, since nothing on my team really does that well. Um... And if you look at these things' stats, um, this is 145 special attack with the ability Shear Force. If you throw on a Fire Blast, um, and if you throw on 252 with the modest special attack because you're bulky enough to take hits, you get 427 special attack with Shear Force Fire Blast. The switch-ins basically do not exist. Like, as in, um, dragons sometimes try to switch in, they don't. They're not good at switch. Not, they're not like anything that can switch in. Um, this mega is underrated in the format because it has really low speed, and it has a four times weakness to water. The four times weakness to water really fucks it 
because water types basically um if they're faster which pretty much they all are since this thing is slow as like shit if they're faster then they can basically hit you super hard um probably kill you with like any water attack and you're just fucked um so that's the thing but other than that this thing is going to I'm going to try to get this thing to put in a ton of work. I want to show people they're wrong when they say this thing is bad. Because I honestly think this thing can be really good. And I am i can't wait to use it. Like, this is the thing I'm most excited to use this season. Um, so, in NU, I took uh, Slacking. Slacking is a very interesting Pokemon. I took Dustlicklops first, actually. But Slacking, I took this. Because although Slacking has probably the worst ability in the game, being Truant... Also, um, a thing that it can do really well is it's got ba that base 150 HP. I needed this for stuff that, like, can't, like, break my stuff with Seismic Toss or anything like that. I also like this thing's bulk. It's so fat. This thing almost walled me in semis until Mammo came in. But, um, yeah, this thing's attack 160, uh, HP of 150. So even though this thing has Truant, this thing can still put in work. This thing's defensive set is insane because of just how good its like defensive stats are besides its special defense. And I I'm I'm not excited to use this, but it's gonna be interesting to use. Like that's how I wanna say it. Um Dusclops, spin blocker for my Roserade, basically. And Trick Room. That's kind of what I wanna hear. I wanted Kofag in NU, no RU. Then I wanted Chinchino in this tier. But uh, I got sniped to Kofag like round one. So I decided to go with this. This thing's kind of passive, but with this, but with an Aviolite, this thing um, is so fat. 40 HP, yeah, that doesn't matter because you've got 130 and 130 in both of your defenses. So you just hit hell, hella hard. Like just you just hit so hard and it's insane. Um, and I'm just like, wow. Like when I see, no. No, 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 you don't get hit hella hard. I'm thinking about Mega Camera Up. I don't know why, but um, yeah, you don't get hard. You don't get hit hard. I can't speak right now. Um, <laughs> uh, so you don't get hit hard by stuff like um, if it's like resist, if it's neutral, it's probably gonna do nothing. And I really like Dust Gloves for that reason. Last thing I got was my Machoke. Machoke basically, I drafted this thing as a as a Rock type switch in, Rock and Steel type. Uh, and it does that really well. Its stats are pretty shit. Um, but with an Aviolite, this thing can switch into a lot of stuff. Its bulk up set can be nice. Bulk up rest talk. Or, um, if that's even the set. I don't know if it is. But uh, yeah, this is just a cool Pokemon. Excited to use. So um, as we see, this is our draft. Um, I am excited to see how this draft does. We've got co coverage, like ways to cover our fire and water weaknesses. In this Gudra. This, um, what's it called? This uh, Slowking. Uh, water in this, uh, and I'm just excited to use this draft. So, um, I'll see you guys next time with my, um, what's it called? My, uh, first video, or not my first video, my first battle. And I will also be, um, recording stuff for the other NBA channel. So, I'll be linking that in the description. Anyway, see you guys. I'll see you all later.